40 minutes later. <laughs> Happy Friday, everybody. I'm Coach Todd. I'm Coach Cole. This is Brooklyn over here. And you're back for another outfit workout. Uh, the workout that we're going to be doing today, it's a 40 minute workout. It is going to start with a strength piece. We're going to then transition to a conditioning piece. Uh, you will need one piece of equipment. So you'll either need a dumbbell or you'll need a kettlebell. Coach Cole's going to be using the dumbbell. I'm going to be using the kettlebell. Um, if you have the option of using either, I probably would grab a dumbbell if certain movements like a snatch is newer to you. Um, just because with a kettlebell, you can have a lot of banging of the wrist if you're not familiar with it. Um, with that being said, two more things that I just want to touch real quickly. First is that uh, we upload workout videos every week, so we have three or four videos coming out every week. So um, go ahead, like this video, subscribe to the channel, and then you'll get notifications of when we post new videos. Um, in addition to this 40 minute format that we have, we also have a 20 minute body weight, and we also have a 10 minute abs. Uh, last thing also before we hop in is just that uh, I do want to point out that both Coach Cole and myself are not wearing masks and we're indoors, particularly working out indoors, uh, and we're only doing it for the purpose of this video. Uh, we are in the middle of a pandemic. Uh, we are located right here in New York City, so we felt it very hard. Um, so everyone does need to be wearing masks. We need to be wearing masks indoors. Keeping everyone safe is a team sport, so we all need to be doing our part. With that being said, Coach Cole is going to get us kicked off with the warm-up. All right, crew. Um, we're gonna do nice 50 jumping backs to start off with. Put a little bit of bouncing, a little bit of breathing, counting up to 50. Hang on their toes. Any new Lindsay Lohan movies? Um, if you're talking like this and you lose count, don't worry, we'll do 10 more. Call it 50. Cool, shake it out. I'm going to put your feet where you squat. We're going to hit 25 air squats. Nice and steady, all the way up, all the way down. Counting up to 25. Once you hit that 25th rep, we're going to have us go hands on the floor. We're going to hit six inchworms. So right on down, walk it up to a high plank. Nice solid push up from those feet or those knees, please. Whatever's cool with you. Walk it back in. Roll it back up. Six reps on Friday. We got what, two more? Two more Fridays in this year? That's uh, uh, that is correct. That's crazy. It is crazy. <laughs> Once you guys hit six, go ahead and grab a drink. Again, we're going to be working with either a dumbbell or a kettlebell, whatever weight you've got moving at home today. Uh, Todd will talk about our um, strength portion of today, which is in an AMRAP format, so we're going to keep it in the strength as best we can. We'll get there in a second. We'll explain it. It's crazy that there are only two Fridays left, though. Two Fridays. I mean, super ready. Uh, see, I I used to think that that you were ready for the year to be over. Well, I'm ready for the year to be over, but I don't feel as I don't know for this best. I don't feel as naively excited for the new year as I have in all of my past three years. Sure. I mean, now, I, now I've been months. taught by this year to be cautiously optimistic about mm -hmm. what's coming. Brooklyn agrees. Exactly. Like, I think it's going to be better, but 2019 taught us it just could be worse. It's just going to take time, like half a year for things to start. Oh yeah, I don't even know if talking coronavirus hurts. Just like, you know. Oh no, you just... No, no, I, I don't mean this in a pessimistic way at all. I just think I'm less naive about the like, New Year's, this is going to be the best year of my life ever. 
feeling you always get. On this is one year living in New York City. One year. <laughs> Wait till he hits five years. All right. So uh, if you've been doing the workouts with us, a couple weeks ago, not a couple weeks ago, a week, maybe a week and a half ago, we did a, a 10 minute workout where we never put down the kettlebell or the dumbbell. So we did uh, reps on one side of our body, and then we would switch sides, go from the right to the, the left, do the reps on, on the left, and then we would switch back and forth. So you do get reps because one side is working and the other side is not gonna be working, but you are gonna be having time under tension. You're gonna be holding that weight for the entire 10 minutes. So we have three different movements, three different movements that we're gonna put together. The first one is gonna be a single arm push press. Uh, for that, you're either gonna have the kettlebell or the dumbbell. Um, sure, yeah. So Coach Cole will get the dumbbell in that front rack position. So head's resting on his shoulders. He's gonna have a shallow dip forward by setting his knees forward. And then he's gonna squeeze his quads, squeeze his glutes so he can pop up and then finish with a press overhead. Um, so we'll be doing six push presses. After that, we're gonna go straight into six snatches. So he has it overhead. He's just gonna break at the hip and then um, go into a hinge. So he's bringing it down to the front rack and then he's hinging. Open up the hips again to get upward momentum to finish locked out overhead. You're going to do six snatches. Once he gets done with that six snatch, staying locked out overhead, you're going to take a nice big step backwards. Oh, nope. I had that wrong. We're going to go to the front rack. Thank you. So he's going to go to that front rack, and then he's going to do six squats. I should read what the workout is. If you love lunges, don't worry. You'll do them later. Before I start talking, lunges will be coming. So six squats. So what? We did six push press. We did six snatches. We did six squats. He's gonna switch sides, so he's gonna hit the dumbbell into the other side, and then we're gonna do that again. Six push press, six snatches, six squats, switch sides. We're gonna keep going back and forth uh, for 10 minutes and seeing how many rounds we can get. What do you think we're gonna do? Um, I don't really, my personal goal is to not put this dumbbell down. 10 minutes for me. I don't like holding on to anything for 10 minutes. So my, I don't care how many rounds I get, as long as I don't put it down. That's that, my goal today. Level one, that is uh, one level, don't put it down. There's the next level. I don't know what the number is. I feel bad saying anything else because of Cole's goal. So we're gonna stick with that. The goal today is not to put it down. Maybe get more than. Ten minutes is a lot. <laughs> maybe get more than um, five per side. I think getting more than five per side. Yeah, I think I think anything about ten total rounds. Probably. Yeah, is is pretty good. Okay, so get your dumbbell, get your kettlebell. We're gonna start in just about sixty seconds. Last time we'll be starting with the push press into the snatch and then into the front rack, front squat. We are also, um, uh, we film these in advance. There's some editing and whatnot. So it's actually Wednesday night here in New York City. So there's a storm that's, storm is a brewing. It's snowing a lot outside. Um, and also in very New York fashion, uh, they are jackhammering out in front of the building at nine o'clock at night. Uh, in the snow. <laughs> in the snow, and during all this. So if that starts up, we apologize. It's nothing we can control. What's your favorite form of precipitation? Uh, my favorite form of precipitation uh, being rain, hail, fall, sleet. Are those, sleet. Are those my options? Yeah, snow. Uh, snow. Snow for sure. Snow for sure. I agree. Totally snow. Snow for sure. Because you can walk out. You, you can walk while it's snowing. It doesn't feel terrible. Um, I mean, yeah, I walk. It was, it was snowing. Uh, if there's water everywhere, you're gonna get messy. If there's snow everywhere, like it's not the same. But really, the reason is because if I wake up in the morning and it's raining, it's dark out. And if I wake up in the morning and it's snowing, it's probably right super out. bright okay. out. I like that. And I'm very sensitive to light. See, that's a really good answer. I never thought about that. <laughs> that's the most important to me. I just like it's all white and happiness. You ready to go? Yeah. Let's all right. Ten, Ten seconds. seconds. Ten whole minutes, crew. Hang on. Just try and hang on with me. Starting with the push press. Three, two, one, here we go. I'm starting on the right, high end at least. So when you're doing these push presses, use those legs, use those legs, pop it up, finish with a press, going into that snatch. If you're experienced in the snatch, you can drop from the top and go right into the swing. Again, if you're experienced, you can just top, drop from the top. If you're not as experienced, you can come to the front rack and then go into your swing and then do your snatch. Front rack, swing, and then snatch. Once you get to the front rack for those lunges, nice big step back. What are we looking for? The vertical You're shin. lunging again. Todd wants to lunge all day long today. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. All right, squats. I'm just gonna start squatting here then. I don't know why that's in my head. 
Get down with six, so you're gonna switch. When we get to the lunges, I'm gonna tell everyone to squat. We are one minute in. You and I have to hang on to the dumbbell for another nine minutes. Nice and slow, stay nice and steady. That's what I'm telling myself. Todd seems to like to carry weight in places, and you just can carry that dumbbell home with you or something. I don't know why I think this is easy. I don't. There's definitely a lot of things that we do that you seem to not have any issues with, and I, <laughs> it makes me huffing and puffing. That's where I am. But for some reason, this is easy? I don't know. We have a lot of abs in the conditioning. That's where you're going to see me start to feel it. So if you're not going to put it down, finding places to rest, finding places to rest is going to be helpful. And a good place to rest, as weird as it might sound for some of us, is overhead. You're not going to hang out here all night, but take a quick breath, next rep. Quick breath, next rep. For a hot minute, I did some kettlebell competitions and my coach at the time would always just tell me when to exhale. She was way less concerned about breathing where if you exhale, you're going to inhale. So we would exhale at the top and bottom or the beginning and end of most movements. So, it's helpful to try to find a rhythm that involves that breathing, that involves that exhaling. So for snatching, I would exhale at the top, and the back swing, exhale, 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 exhale. It helps find a rhythm, also helps to distract you a little bit. for a while. We like the snatch with the dumbbell with the kettlebell. Hopefully one of the things you picked up is that when we're doing that swing, you want to think about keeping your forearm glued to your body as long as possible. Glued to that stomach okay, as much as possible. The longer it stays contact, the more power you're going to get from that hip opening. Coming up on that four minute mark. Well, it's about halfway, you're not quite there yet. Stay with me. Great goal, like I said. Mr. Todd here at Kettlebell, like Dojo. Um, let's just keep that dumbbell or kettlebell at least up for this whole 10 minutes, all right? I'm taking a nice little break between sides, finding a couple big breaths, but I'm not putting this lovely dumbbell down for another about 5.30. So you're probably starting to feel it more. Probably starting to feel pretty warm. But you're always still probably starting to slow down just a little bit. And that's okay, as long as you keep moving. But if you are slowing down a little bit, this is a good time to check your overhead position. What do I mean? I'm gonna have this weight overhead. If it's a dumbbell, if it's a kettlebell, I wanna have some rotation through the shoulder. So my thumb is facing behind me. That's an easy cue for a lot of people. For other people, thinking about or trying to get the elbow facing forward instead of to the side is also an easier way of thinking about it. So if you're resting overhead for a second, check in. Can you rotate that thumb back a little more? And then go into your next rep. Well over halfway, looking good.
He survived his six minutes. He can hang on for another four. We'll get there. Oh. As you start to get fatigued, try to use your upper body a little less. Really pop it up with those legs. Pop it up with those legs. Pop it up with that hip opening. Probably by now we're using one shoulder, starting to fatigue. Holding on to my left hand right now. This is definitely my weaker shoulder and weaker arm. So I'm feeling it. Best thing you can do is give yourself a couple extra bets. So when you get those six, six, six done, the devil's number on both sides. Woo! Makes sense for this workout. <laughs> this is not so bad. Alright, you're about seven minutes in. If you have not put down that weight yet, don't do it. You got this. Don't do it, not now. You're too far in. go. So you're three quarters of the way. Two and a half minutes, you're going to go ahead. You had a one, one to two minutes of rest. And then we have to talk about the conditioning. So even more than that. So rest is coming. Know it. Try to keep moving just over two minutes before you put that weight down. Press, switch arms. Let's get through that like the left hand side. Oops. Here we go, less than two minutes. With the push presses, use those legs. With the swings, use those hips. 90 seconds, last 90 seconds. And then you can put that weight down, catch your breath, get a drink, and then it's gonna be a lot of core after that. Coming up on that last minute, switch sides, keep on in here. Whew, well that shoulder break. <clears throat> All right, so the last 60 seconds. Again, if you've got this far, you haven't put down the weight, you got this. Keep going. Don't put it down now. You got way too far in. You got 30 seconds. Let's go. Let's finish this nice and strong. 20 seconds. Hang on in. Take that last burn. Now we'll get there. Now put me down. Here we go. 10 seconds. A couple more reps. Keep moving. Don't just hang out overhead. We're in that front rack position. Three, two, one. Yeah. Woo! Five. Ten minutes, just like that. Breathe. So fast that went by. Huh. So fast. If you're like me, I have no idea how many rounds I did. Go back and watch the count. Um, I don't care, because I didn't let it go. So it down, that's down. a win. So the second time you didn't put it down. You're two and zero. Two and zero. Two and zero for not putting it down. Get a, get some water. Catch your breath. Uh, keep that weight. We're going to use it for the next round. Um, but we're going to take a minute so to catch our breath there. So you may notice I don't have shoes on. Um, and I assume uh, many of us are probably doing this at home. Um, if we live somewhere like New York, we probably don't have the world's largest apartment to work out in. So there's no reason you need to wear shoes when you work out. Um, I actually think your feet are like the least 
I'd say the easiest muscle in your body to kind of neglect and ignore. Um, you know, I don't think people think of their feet as like their wrists. People are very cautious about their wrists and what we do with them. Your feet literally will you up all day long, so it's not wrong with training a little bit of your arches. I have pretty flat feet, so I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing, but training barefoot is a thing. Absolutely. Yeah. I just don't do it because I'm like at gyms and places like this. It's kind of yeah. I don't love being barefoot when things are happening. Yeah. Well, a lot of public places are going to just have policies about having shoes on. Oh, yeah, absolutely. But in your living room, there's no policy. You can keep your shoes off. All right. So we have some conditioning coming up. Uh, it's going to be a lot of core. Coach Cole and I are going to switch positions, uh, literally and figuratively. He's going to talk about the movements, but I'm also going to be the one round after round probably talking about how hard it is to finish. We did a practice round and I was struggling. We'll find out. Coach Cole, what's going on with the conditions? Uh, we got six rounds. Each round's gonna be three minutes long. All right, each round is a three minute workout. So the rest you're getting here is the rest that you choose to get, the rest is just work. In that three minute window, we have four movements we have to do. The first movement is 15 per arm Russian swings. That's 30 reps total. These are single arm swings, and we're going to alternate every rep. So, Todd's going to go for a nice eye level Russian kettlebell swing in his right arm. He's going to pass it right onto his left hand, just like so. Swing it back to the hips. Two, three, four, until he hits 15 per arm, 30 total. Cool. Basically, 30 reps, tossing it side to side. If for some reason we're not super comfortable tossing it hand to hand, that's fine. Do 15 on your right, 15 on your left. All right, don't throw your kettlebell in the GB by mistake. That would be. Not a uh, happy afternoon. Uh, unless, then, unless you want a new TV. Unless you want a new TV. And then then you it's have to a <laughs> um, Next, Todd's going to hit uh, 20 reverse lunges for me. So, if you wanted to lunge all day long, he finally gets to do it. I've been he's waiting. Gonna, he's going to take a nice big step back. His back knee's going to hit the floor. And notice his front foot is super duper flat. He also has that really nice vertical shin where his knee isn't. It's all the way out in front over his toes like that. That's what we don't want. We want your weight in the heel, knee joint right over that ankle joint that I just talked about. He's going to step back forward. That's one reverse lunge. That's two. He owes me 10 for leg or 20 total. Cool. 30 swings, 20 lunges, and then he's going to hit 30 bicycles. Abs are here now. He's on his back. His hands are behind his head, just like he's on the beach. He's going to touch his right elbow to his left knee, and then go back down. Left elbow to the right knee. One, two, three. Four, you can rest, 30. Cool, 30 total, every tap counts. He's then gonna hit 30 penguins to finish it off. For a penguin, we're laying on the floor, our knees are bent, our feet are flat, my arms are nice and straight outside my side. I'm gonna squeeze my belly button into the floor, lift my shoulder blades off the floor. That's super important. Can you have you relax again for me? That's relaxing. These are lifted shoulder blades. This is your core turned on. I'm gonna use only my core to wiggle to the side like a penguin, and I'm reaching my toes to tap that set outside of my foot. One, two, three, four, 30. Cool. So, 30 swings, 20 reverse lunges, 30 bicycles, 30 penguins. You have three minutes to complete that. That's not gonna take you the whole three minutes once you finish that. The goal for today, you can still keep downloading this, is for the remainder of that time, until the start of the next round, we're trying to hold ourselves in a nice, tall plank. So our, our hips, our legs, our calves, our core, our shoulders are nice and squeezed in that nice, beautiful straight line. Todd's shoulders are right over his hands. That's a beautiful plank, just like so. All right, the goal is to hold that as much as we can until the beginning of the next round. All right, it'll probably be a little bit less than a minute today, um, somewhere in that range. If we're super speedy and end up having a minute 30 plank, try and stay up there. You need to come to your knees and get a breath or two. That's your time to do so. We're really just trying to find some core under tension today. Cool. Six rounds total, 30 swings, 20 lunges, 30 bicycles, 30 penguins, and we're going 30 seconds. Unless you have anything to say. No, I think so. Okay. I'm excited about these lunges. I know you are. <laughs> 20 seconds, crew. No shoes, knee sleeves, it's a look. Give it to me on New York Fashion Week, here every year. I think that's a country song I heard once. <laughs> no shoes, knee sleeves. All right, 30 Russian swings, alternating those hands, right up to eye level three, two, and we are moving, three minutes.
I'll put a look, raise that dumbbell, switch your hands, if you're a little bit wary about that, it's gonna help you. So if you're using a kettlebell, there's numerous ways to swing a kettlebell correctly. Um, the way I was taught, uh, the way that I usually do it, is when you are in your back swing, your thumb faces behind you, and then when you're in your, the top of your swing, your thumb faces up, and then that free hand can come in, grab exactly where it is, hinge, thumb comes behind you, thumb comes back up, and then you can go ahead and switch. So that's how I was taught. That also transfers nicely to movements like doing the snatch, um, which we've already done today. So if you are using a kettlebell, it's something that you can definitely play with because you're gonna have an opportunity to do a lot of swings today, a lot of single arm swings. Remember, for these lunges, big step back, vertical shin, drive through the heel. Big step back, vertical shin, drive through the heel. 10 per leg, 20 total. Bottom of the floor for those bicycles when you're moving on. Each uh, elbow tap counts as one, it's free 30. You can go as fast as you please on these. Nice quick breath before you get to those penguins. Remember, for make sure blades off the floor. Engage that core. Reach for the sides of the feet. Another 30. Each foot tap jump is one. 15 each side. Less than a minute to go in this three minute round. Great, so finishing out round one here. Take a quick breath, we're gonna come up into that high plank. If we're done, the goal is to do that for the remainder, about 40 seconds left. If you need a quick breath, you may do so. But if not, right up here with me for another 30, and we're starting round two. In this position, think about squeezing your quads, squeezing those glutes, nice tight core. So you have a nice straight line going down the midsection. You got 15 seconds till we back to swings. Hang in there. Six, five, four, three, two, and round two. Like we said, got a lot of rest today. We're moving and grooving right back into 30 total. Good goal for today, just like that AMRAP before. Not to put this dumbbell or kettlebell down. Try and hang on for a nice 30 for yourself. Get those nice body weight reverse lunges coming up. Good, just like before, a nice big step back. That vertical shape is nice and important. Keeps you in a nice strong position. Sixty seconds in. When you're doing these lunges, what you want to avoid is taking your hands and pressing down on the leg that you're standing up with. So you want to avoid doing this. This is actually a way of scaling or assisting the movement. But if you're just doing it not on purpose, you just don't want to work with your hands. Have them just hang out here on your hips in a nice little spot. All right, well over halfway, you got about a minute 15. Bicycles and penguins for each. Keep it moving. Lots of core today. Sponsor King, core is free. Good, we're about 45 left. 
This is a round that we're going to establish probably a pretty decent pace on. Try and hang in, take a couple breaths, find some more time in this plank here. Through these abs, whether you're doing our penguins or a plank or a bicycle, don't forget to breathe. Sometimes with our core contracted, we like to forget, take that breath in and out. But if you're going to hold your breath for a minute, you're going to feel pretty dizzy. Nobody wants that. About 10 seconds. Back to swings in five. Three, two, one. Here we go. Back to swings. swings. Round three. Now we're going somewhere real quick. All right, 15 seconds, back to our swings. Coming up on round four, you pass the halfway point. Lots of work today on Friday. Um, three, two, one, back up. Come back in, stay focused. I just want to say, if you're struggling with the bicycles, you're in good company. Because <laughs> they are actually killing me at the moment. 30 feels like a lot. So if 30 feels like a lot for me, there's a good chance it feels like a lot for you. If you're getting three minutes of work in every round, even if you're not making it to the plane, you're still doing a great job. That's really the goal for today, crew, is to find three minutes of relatively steady work. We've got a couple different movements, so we're going to find some rest for the abs for standing up, find some rest for the breath, maybe when we're lunging. But just three minutes of work today, that plank is just a filler at the end to keep us engaged if we have some free time. Core engagement, that's the theme today.
तो वो शार्प आएगा Secret is just moving faster. Yeah. Again, there's no speed I need you to go with that. Hit that knee, come right back down. Stay right again. Bike. I don't know that that was it. <laughs> Fine focus for you. Hi, bro. I see you, sweetheart. Oh, yes. You want your snacks? I know. Sorry, right, we got about 45 seconds. Hey. Oh. Brooklyn, oh. sit please. Good, we got about 30 left through. Find that swing. If you've gotten there before, we can certainly get there this time. Hang it up. Stay there every point. Todd's doing a great job. You know, I keep saying he's tired. Right. About okay. keeping those shoulders over those hips his body in a nice straight line. I'd love to see that. He's just nice and strong. He's supposed to move well. Other places, we're not just doing a plank. We're back up and swinging in four, three, two, and good. Here we go. Round five. Four down, two, two, go. We can do it. Hang on for third. Brooklyn just turned about one year and one month, but it never really snowed in New York last year, so she's never seen snow. So as soon as we get out of here, we're gonna go play in the snow. She doesn't know it yet. It's not a bad life. I actually think one of the most fun things in the world would be to like roll around in the snow if you were a dog. Because I think rolling around in the snow would be Super fun, it's cold because you're on fur. Yeah. But doing fur is so much fun. Let's see, labs, they got double coats. So, all kinds of work happening. I need some movement. Again, this is my favorite time to breathe during this workout. During these lunges, if you love swings, we're going to get your quote unquote rest during some swings. Got a little under five minutes left for the day. Ninety seconds in, ninety seconds to go for this round. We got this round to finish, and then one more. Then you're gonna have me in it. But hey, through that core burn. I love that feeling. It makes us, makes us know we're getting stronger at the muscles we're trying to work. Should feel it right in here. Hang on. Make sure to make those penguins. Once we get there, we're keeping those shoulders full off the floor, shoulders on the floor. It's nice and relaxed. We're not doing anything. Pull on up. Turn those abs off. Mark's on the penguin. Sweet crew, right in that 40 second mark. Couple big breaths. Keep on moving, whether it's penguins or planks. 30 seconds, and then our last round is coming up. Got 20 seconds, hang in there. Last time for every movement's coming up. Last 15. 10 seconds. Russian swings in five. Last time through in three, two, one. Here, Here we go. go. Three minutes today. Full three minutes, right up, right swinging. Did a lot of work so far. We might as well get to the finish nice and strong. Last round is always the most important one in my mind. Again, today was a little more challenging than the ones we've done in the past. 
with less rest built in, but you made it this far. So let's end it nice and strong. But you got two and a half minutes to go. 30 seconds or more of that to plank. So you got like two more minutes of work. Active yeah. work. Most certainly planking through the end of this workout today for that last three minute window to get up. On some lunch. Here we go. All right, last two minutes of work. Last two minutes. Hang in there. Hang in there. You got just over 90 seconds. Find that floor. Last set of core. Pull that right. I didn't need to. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Are you though? Not really. I'm really sorry. Don't let me kick you in the face, girl. It's okay. Keep on playing through. You hold sets of 15. Make sure that happens in the last round. Hold yourself to it. You can do it. Oh my god, I'm rhyming. I'm so sorry. <laughs> All right, less than a minute. Less than a minute. We're going to find a plank. We got about 45. A couple quick breaths. We'll all go up here together. Hips in line. You know the drill. Here we go. Here we go. Last 30 seconds. Almost there. Hanging on in. Big squeeze. Wait for the finish. Try not to come down. Don't forget to breathe. You got this. Finish nice and strong. 20 seconds. You got this for 20 more seconds. Hang on, girlfriend. We're almost there. 15. Squeeze a little bit tighter if you feel like you're going to start to wiggle a bit. Hang on. Here we go. Hang it in for five, four, three, two, and high. Breathe it out. Shake it out. You can stay on the ground. You are free. Brooklyn is also free. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Good workout. That was a good workout. Hey. Hi. Hi. All right. Hopefully you don't have as much energy as Brooklyn does right now. It's so cute though. We're gonna go head out. We're gonna go play in the snow in just a minute. Last time though, if you like this workout, you're still here, you probably liked it, please go ahead and like the video and subscribe. Again, we have three or four new videos that come out every week. Uh, this 40 minute video, a 20 minute body weight video, and then a 10 minute abs, abs, abs video. We don't call it that, but you might think about it. We call it abs, abs, abs. Abs, abs, abs. Thank you. So, <laughs> I'm trying to close this out, Brooklyn. So again, thank you. I'm Coach Todd. I'm Coach Cole. And this is Brooklyn, and we'll see you next time. Take care. So much energy. Hi. Anyway, you're Hi.